Hello, I'm Lee Bamber from The Game Creators and this time we're going to take a close look at the Structure Editor. First of all, it should be noted that these are not final visuals. The UI is closer, but we haven't even started on the terrain and the rendering system yet. So let's take a look at the Structure Editor. You'll find it from the toolbar next to the Character Creator. So we select that and we place down our construction marker. And the first thing you'll notice is that the camera changes its orientation into a sort of 2.5D perspective. That makes it very easy to create layered structures much more perceptibly as if you were looking straight down on the structure. So I'm going to introduce you to the right panel. Similar to how we organised the terrain tools, we've also organised the tools for the structure editor. As you can see at the top, you've got a name, so I'm going to keep that as my building. And underneath that you have all the brushes, all the shapes to paint with. So I'm just going to do practical demonstrations as I introduce these things. So I'm just going to paint some floor, like so. And you'll notice there's now a button for wall, a little brush for wall. Here we've got a wall, but we'll change that to say this grey one. So we can paint in a wall here, like that. And we've also, instead of, you can still got keyboard shortcuts like the uh, key, rotates. But you've also got that button facility now in these controls. So you can see I can rotate to place some walls there, then rotate again. So you don't need to know the hidden keyboard shortcuts. And let's say we wanted to put a ceiling on, there's a button for going up a layer. So we can switch back to flat floor, and then we can add, say, this tiled ceiling. And you can use the control next to it to drop back down to the ground floor. Whilst we're on the ground floor, let's have a play with the stirs because that shows us, again, the idea of rotation, but also texturing. So I'm going to select a wood texture. You can see the arrows facing away, so I'm going to face towards there. And now I've got a nice little staircase going up to the roof. Now you also notice, in addition to the up, down, you've also got this, the idea that you can delete. So in addition to edit, you can select the delete mode. And just as we added the staircase, we can remove the staircase. Um, we can add it back in there. We had two lots of staircases. And then when you're finished, you can click here, which will actually say, that's the finished structure and I want to put it in my game. Uh, so as I've briefly mentioned, the texture set, it's now based on a selection of choices. So we've just got a default set for now, but there'll be more in the future. So as you can see, you've got uh, marble floors, carpets, wood, metals, stones, all the things you would need to create a structure. And when you're finished with your creation, you can specify where it's going to be saved, and then you can save structure as entity. So I'm going to have my building, I'm going to save structure as entity, and that structure is now saved. So if I leave the structure editor, as you can see, this is what we've created, but we've also saved out a version, as you can see, user ABU structures, my building, which is now identical, because that's the one we've just saved. So if we go back to edit, You'll notice that if we were to make some further edits, let's say surround it with a floor of marble, like this, just jump up and loop around like that. And then we do this, which will end that editing session. You'll notice that that changes because that's the edit one. But this one here, this is our entity. This is like a regular entity now. And so as you can see in the menu, you can't edit it. You can only edit it when it's inside the level and before you actually save it out permanently as an entity. So just jumping back in, as you can see we've got rid of all the keyboard shortcuts and now everything is on the right panel, everything where you need it to create your own structures. There may be some small tweaks and changes as we move closer towards September, uh, but that's the general idea of how you can make your structures. So if you've run out of assets to import, you can use the structure editor to create your own. If you like what you see so far, check out the link below for a 45% discount in merch to pre-order GameGuru Max. Join me next time when we take a close look at the new built-in tutorial system. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.